God, why are you so fun? I'm fucking awesome, that's why. Go to the Wait, fucking lake. Okay. Oh my god, he's just spamming fun. That day, you bring a magazine to read by the lake. The cover story is, had to gain fun while camping with your six hottest, most charismatic friends. Eric, there's only one of me. Uh, yeah. Except That's they're the not ghost. referring to, to you. They're referring to our fucking people that we want to bang. Jay, the joke is that it's Ron. <laughs> Step what? one, go to the lake. R slash whoosh. Step two, wait. Big whoosh. But it's wrong? Ron. Well, that's it. And why hasn't that worked for you yet? I, I know. Oh, wait, you just gained plus two fun. <laughs> Thanks, uh -huh. Cosmopolitan. Did we just break Jay's brain? I think you so. guys are assholes, it was already dude. Broken. <laughs> what the fuck happened, Jay? Are you okay? <laughs> you guys are fucking with me on so many confused? levels on that one. <laughs> what are you confused about? I don't understand. <laughs> I hate both of you. Jay thinks you're fun and charming or something, or whatever it Wait, was. Wait, no, I, I literally don't understand. Jay, what are you confused about? <laughs> It's I funny. know what you meant, Ron. I was saying that to be like, no, it can't be you, because that's not who it's referring to. <laughs> and then we just doubled down, and you got fucking... You just went there and just, uh... For a good three minutes so, before yes, bringing it back. because you guys are Why? just like... <laughs> is he really that dumb? <laughs> <laughs> fucking assholes. Sarcasm didn't come through very well if you were being sarcastic, Jay. <laughs> the first time. It really sounded like you were genuinely confused. No, I just... I, under <laughs> I understood you were fucking around with it too, Jay, and I'm just... I doubled down. I didn't expect you to take my sarcasm. That's... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Eric. I did that in the middle of your lights. No, that's cool. I'm just waiting. <laughs> Alright, you're good, Eric. Am I? Am I good? Yeah. yeah. No, oh, don't be mean to him. <laughs> Come on. All right. Afterwards, you see Milo on the shore. They seem to be recording the lake. Is this some new kind of ASMR? Yes. How did I fucking voice act it? <laughs> <laughs> it's been two minutes. <gasps> <laughs> Fuck, new one. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Fucking... Alright, Dahlia, action. Action? Oh my! Ooh, Holy fuck! But like that, all four people in Faven <laughs> Project <laughs> turned into simps. <laughs> <laughs> Can you blame us? No. No. I'd fuck her. Suddenly, you see Dahlia emerge from underwater. And we'd all be okay with it. In the most perfect hair flip water arc all right. of all time. Can we agree on a fivesome? <laughs> No. I, no. Claim a f I claim a foot. Will be mine. You claim a foot? No. <laughs> I claim the mommy milkers. No. Alright, you guys are getting the worst parts. A finger. I want the horns, you fool. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> you fucking corny motherfucker. <laughs> Dahlia's hair flip really appeared to your overwhelming horniness. You were already in love with her a lot, but now you're super in love with Dahlia. Uh, you hot blue snack. That was amazing. <laughs> Eric's actual thoughts. True. I'm not, I'm not lying, yeah. I was like, <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and I just come in with that voice. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time. Let Fucking me see, let me see. Unprofessional. I'm not gonna lie, if I was to die by her crushing my skull between her thighs, oh! I wouldn't mind. It would be an honor. <laughs> Dahlia quickly throws her hair back in a ponytail and hurries over. The three of you crowd around Milo's phone and watch the slow motion insta story of Dahlia's sexy wet hair flip. Can you show the picture again, please? <laughs> go back. Fuck, go back. <laughs> Literally, yes. Dahlia, you look so sexy and powerful. And you know what they say. Powerful is the new sexy, and conveniently, sexy is the new powerful. That's Wait. I fully agree. I am downright fuckable. 
Yes, you are. <laughs> Not only is that lied on the internet, <laughs> Jay, <laughs> but then Eric shit. said yes, you are directly Where after I it. Shut up, so we can clip this. <laughs> God <laughs> fucking damn it! I hate, I hate everything. <laughs> I hate it here. Whoa! I'm so hot, I'm making myself hard. <laughs> All right, be sure to clip that. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. Clip it, clip it, clip it. it. We need that for a soundboard. No. Uh... <laughs> excuse me while I just go throw myself off a clip. I'm gonna excuse myself for 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna play this game with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> Do not invite him to the honey pop session. <laughs> oh, bull. Bullshit. Oh, right, it's me. a lot of Fuck. yeahs in the making. <laughs> For get real, it. you're officially the hottest creature in the I get it. You used to be Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> but you just smashed him into relevancy. <laughs> God damn. Anyone here know. seen Helsing Abridged? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just love cannons. No, no, the Sonic reference within. I'm Helsing. aware. I know. I know. Get it stuck in your head, boy. All right, babe, I'm tagging right. you. Is that okay? You're gonna get a ton of new followers after such a masterful display of beauty and sex appeal. Yes. Tag me. I want to catch some new followers and make them join my. Wait. Don't tell me she has an OnlyFans. I just realized something. I had a realization! My brain! <laughs> um, yep. I can see that. Here to enlighten me. I'm going to be alone forever! <laughs> um, what? Bichwa? <laughs> oh, Bichwa? <what? laughs> I'm scared that no one will be able to do a hair flip sexy enough to be worthy of my attention. I'm out of everyone's league. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's oh, the no. kind of self-confidence we all need. Whoa. Oh, Dahlia. Oh, Dahlia, it's okay. Surely someone could do a wet hair flip worthy of you. There just has to be someone out there, maybe even someone listening to this very conversation. Yeah, that wink is totally at, at, at Biggs. It's totally me. I'm about to flirt with myself. That's your cue, you primal animal. <laughs> you get into the lake, focus all of your energy on impressing these two, and execute your sexiest technique. Happy New Year, you filthy animal. That top one is chicken. perfect. Fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken. What are you, the scout? Do not yeah. come out of the water, just drown. <laughs> yeah. Um... Mm. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. I want to say the top one might be fun. Yeah, but like, yeah, do it. Do it. Okay. But I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna offer. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Ha! Nice. I was right, you bitches. You dive underwater, reach in your pocket for the fried chicken drumstick you always keep on you, just in case someone asks you to be sexy at a moment's notice. You emerge from the water. So smart. Soaking wet and taking huge, aggressive bites of that fried chicken. Whoa. That was so fucking hot that I feel personally attacked. I thought my thirst trap would never be out sexied, but this chicken is just too hot. Wait, does fried chicken make everything more sexy? Literal steam bellowing out of the chicken leg. <laughs> it's a fucking wet chicken. What an enticing question. Fried chicken can be an absolutely gorgeous food, but let's be realistic. Go buttermilk brined or go home. But in this moment, the taste doesn't even matter. It's about the sexy vibes that the chicken brings to the tableau. Aesthetic bliss. You agree with Milo. Eating wet fried chicken covered in lake water isn't good, but it is hot. <laughs> I can't believe I've been underestimating the sexiness, sexiness of fried chicken all this time. It's the ultimate sexiness weapon. The three of you start experimenting to determine if fried chicken actually makes everything sexier. Okay, yep, I just tried it and fried chicken really makes funerals <laughs> sexier. That's dark. And it covers up the corpse smell way better than daffodils. I imagine it would. 
I can confirm fried chicken makes erotic massage even hotter than it normally does is. Oh, and fun life hack, chicken grease can be used as a sexual lubricant in an emergency. <laughs> oh, no. Think about this. No. There's chicken the grease on your chicken, cock. The fried chicken at a funeral would make everyone so hungry and horny it becomes an orgy and cannibalism because you have a dead body no eric right get your there. necrophilic ass out of here <laughs> there'd be a lot of shame at this funeral too because i feel like well it's got to stop at some point and they're gonna realize what happened when the chicken's gone <laughs> and then there's gonna be that one guy with the shame kink <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And then the orgy starts up again. But no, I, what I'm just imagining is like, it doesn't happen with chicken. But you know the fucking like hamburger grease, like you're done cooking it and then. Oh you put it no! In your Stop! <laughs> just that. <laughs> I'm gonna barf. You three even create a fried chicken themed fried dating sim. sim. Nice. The artist's good, and you manage to turn a lovable household character Wait! into a total kill. I was about to say, I was like, the KFC. Is, is it by the same people? This is a big KFC dating sim re re reference. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. We have to play that. Oh, uh, no. no. Yes. No. Yes. Some people criticize it and call it a soulless Get marketing. Daddy term. Colonel. Get but no one cares because, oh my god, it's a sexy oh chicken. Sexy chicken. 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 Dahlia and Milo are both super happy. And you even inspired a whole new porn subgenre. Wet chicken horking. What the fuck is horking? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just sent Eric something about this here recently. What's horking? You know what it is. How do you hork? Because you're typing. Oh, okay. This isn't sex. Well, I mean, I guess it could be sexual, but uh. Jay, throw it. Just throw it in the video and post. Please do. Oh, no. That right there is the good shit. Oh, my God. It just yeah. melts off the bone. Oh. It's fucking sexy. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. Gassy about to bone the chicken bone. You don't have to repeat yourself. That's redundant. <laughs> I'm going to bone. All right. The bonus. By the way, I'm the most in. fun of all of you. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you the are. I'm so the unfun. Is real. Oh uh, fuck. You are so. All right, I'm gonna do it with smarts. Only smarts. I just love that he's riding a bear. Yes. So you're going smarts for Dahlia? Yes. I must be good at something. What if it works? While you're hiking through the woods, you find a little clearing with a beautiful blue pond. There's a very handsome man staring deeply into the pond. He's talking to his reflection like it's another person. A person he really wants to fuck. You swipe his wallet while he's not looking and find out his name is Narcissus. He's not an organ donor, asshole. And he's one punch away from getting a free smart water at 7-Eleven. Well, he's wow. definitely not going to be using that anytime soon. You head to the gas station to gain two smarts from your smart water. But he was Where's my water bottle? Ah, yes. I got smart water now, too. You're minding your own business smelling peep. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm not doing that. <laughs> yes, you are, don't I? When Dahlia grabs you. <laughs> when Dahlia grabs you and drags you to the lake shore. <laughs> there you are, Emmy. Once more, I need your help achieving the best summer ever. Critique my rock skipping technique. This is the secret ending. Fuck! Dahlia skips, oh, Dahlia skips a rock straight upwards and disappears into the sky. Moments later, you notice a faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's rock or the satellite. Dahlia's rock's destroyed. It's a meteor. It's meaty. 
It crashes into the woods on the far side of the lake, turning them into a giant bonfire. Yes! The ultimate campfire! Quick, tell me some campfire stories, but very loudly. You're about to tell her the one about the horny summer campers who finally boinked when you're distracted by a glowing figure approaching you across the lake. Greetings, says the figure in a warm, booming voice. It is I, Calor, Herald of Summer. Calor, it's an honor to meet you. Can you critique my rock skipping technique already? I am here on a much more important errand, says the spirit. Your passion for achieving the ideal summer has moved me. I have a quest for you. I have grown weak as of late due to a lack of worship. The heralds of the other seasons mock me and drain my power. I need you to destroy them. I will do it, noble hot man. Noble hot man. I was going to say talk to them and ask them to stop being such jerks, but honestly, that sounds great if you're up for it. The first herald you must defeat is Vern, a uh, herald of spring. He's in Florida. Good luck. I make my own luck. Oh, blood! Blood! Blood for the blood god! Oh my god. <laughs> Moments later, you're face to face with Vern. It turns out traveling to Flor Flor Florida is easy. You just mix a can of Florida. Bud Light with cough syrup and you're there. What's up? What's up, bros? Says Vern while shotgunning a hard seltzer and about and thinking about boobs. Here to defeat me on behalf of that nerd Kylor. Yes! And also to get tan. A good tan is critical for the best summer ever but my skin is blue how would you why would it go tan comes a million but yeah it would it would change into that <laughs> says Vern, doing a three keg stands at once by the grace of his divine might suck my easter eggs losers no one can defeat me man he says i'm gonna live forever spring break woo You'll just, uh, you'll just see about that. It so happens that you know the perfect technique for defeating the Herald of Spring. Remind him that Spring is just the lame opening act for summer. Allergies. Uh, allergies? Oh. <laughs> Bro! Laughs Vern, sending a picture of his nuts to the Supreme Court. You really gonna come at the Herald of Spring with allergies as your weapon? Don't laugh, we also brought rep regular weapons. I don't care what you brought, bro, says Vern, making some complex hand gestures. You're about to get histamine, bitch. What? What's this? Itchy eyes? Runny nose? Has my own beautiful face betrayed me? Basically, says Vern, I'm an allergy bender and I just made you aller allergic to pollen. Enjoy never going outside, nerd. What? But outside is where all the summer activities are. How will I have the best summer ever now? I cannot allow myself to have such weakness. And if, if my enemies learn of this, they will construct fiendish pollen-tipped arrows to strike me down. Come at me, we must leave at once to form a battle plan. Drammy, dr Drammy, Dahlia grabs your wrists in that bone-crushing way you like, but withdraws her hand subtly. It's covered in hives. Oh yeah, <laughs> says Vern, taking off his shirt while somehow also popping his collar. <laughs> Wait, I also oh made God. you allergic to Emmy. No! Oh. And look, they have hives too! Did you make them allergic to me? No, what do I look like, a fucking scientist? I made Emmy allergic to Emmy too. Now get the <laughs> fuck out of here! I got chicks coming over, man. Do I look like a fucking scientist? You flee defeated. Dahlia looks at you sadly. It seems we must part ways, Emmy. My attachment to you is not as strong as my allergic reaction. Goodbye, Emmy. Call me when you stop sweating out of your nostrils. Maybe. That will probably be never. You have been bested by the forces of spring and your great shame Bye. robs you of two charm and two creativity. Yes, this is what I wanted. To fail. Just like everything else? In life. A. Hey. Let's see. I should also bring up my fun a bit. But I can't. So, charm, smarts, bold. No, okay, charm. Alright. As, you, as you're searching the haunted manor, you come across an enchanted doll that promises to grant all your wishes. Cool, you take it. It possesses you, though, of course. 
turns out that the spirit was that was inside of it was exactly like you in every way. So nobody notices the difference. The only difference is that the spirit is a little bit bolder than you. So you basically gain plus two boldness. Yeah. Cool. You faintly hear what sounds like a haunting classical music and murmured whispering. Par for the course at the HM, but then you hear familiar anime scream. Oh shit. Eric. Eric. Uh, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> we can't open our concert with a Forgotten Tomb song. They're not cool at all. That's why they've been forgotten. Guess here, Joy. It looks like your friends are in a room surrounded by Victorian ghosts having a party. And your friends look pretty freaked. And are they scared? Ghosts? Ghosts? They're demons. What? No, not at all. We have literal classmates who are ghosts, Solomon. Could she be more vampiric? Yes. <laughs> Just what? <laughs> 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 you may remember that Damien, Dahlia, and I are all in a screamo band called Ventagram. Not at all. What is Ventagram? We vent on the gram. <laughs> that was actually it's clever. Pretty fun. I have to give it to you. <laughs> Reluctantly. Reluctantly. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It's pretty fun. Shrieking semi-coherently into a microphone is actually a good way for me to relieve stress. The problem is, these Victorian ghosts hired us for their annual temporary return for purgatory. They're cats. Priority here in the haunted manor. We can't decide what to open with. This is going to make or break the entire concert. The opening number is pretty much the only song anyone will be sober enough to listen to. I love this day, man. <laughs> I love him. You can't help but to inquire about the logic of spirits from the 1800s hiring a screamo band for their concert. Well, I don't think that they always liked screamo, but being condemned to an eternity of purgatorial torture turns them back to aesthetic taste. Yeah, have some fucking yeah. compassion, noob. <laughs> anyway, back to business. I agree with Damien. No Forgotten Tomb cover. The best Screamo cover is obviously Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. Nope. <laughs> nope. Tell her to shut up. Dahlia's a big Ariana Grande fan, just so you know. Dahlia. <sighs> <laughs> the thighs are less worth it now. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you scream the lyrics to Ariana Grande songs doesn't make them scream <coughs> well. Agreed. Let's do Your Makeup is Terrible by Alaska Thunderfuck. <laughs> At least six of the words in that song are like my entire vocabulary. Neither of you know what you're talking about. I'm the lead singer, damn it. I get to decide what songs we do. I don't think that's exactly how it works. Yes, it but... is. Okay. So... I'm the lead singer and I say <clears throat> what goes. <laughs> what goes? Bitch. <laughs> Shut up. I'm so push. Ugh, fuck this conversation. I'm setting up the amp on fire. <laughs> it's just bored. It sounds so congested. <laughs> Demon! No, it's a rental! And I put the <laughs> deposit down! I like how the warlord's concerned about the deposit. Yeah. Ones are important. Yeah. You better solve this argument before these spirits get sick of your antics and start doing Victorian ghost shit. Like throwing ro vases and huffing opium. Nice. What song would your should your friends open the concert with? The best song to open anything is oh, an anime opening. Oh my and the god. the best anime opening is without a doubt a cruel thing. A cruel angel's thesis from it. Yes! How obvious can it fucking be? Yes! How obvious can it fucking be? Are that song is cool. Don't get me wrong. Get me wrong love, but it's fucking obvious. Because they love Victoria Adams, aka Posh Spice. You should go with the Screamo cover of Wannabe. No, nah, it's Cruel Angel's Thesis. Well, I don't know what the stats say, but... Even if this is wrong, worth it. Yes! <laughs>
That is an awesome idea! Nothing gets me hyped to crush my enemies like an anime opening, especially the opening of Evangelion. Think you mean Evangelion? Fuck it. God fucking. You think Ryan, you obviously. So goddamn much. Even <laughs> glue. There we go. Yeah. Avenge a lion. <laughs> how, how wrong can Avenge we say this? The lions. <laughs> Neon jellyfish, <laughs> even lion. Read your line, damn it! Ow! <laughs> Jay, edited I never thought I'd there. say this. Oh, I wheezed so hard, I, I got a cramp. Ow! <laughs> Evangelion fucks hard. Ow! <laughs> But guys, a cruel angel's thesis isn't a screamo song. Who cares? They're giant fucking fighting robots in a Vigalion! Joy, giant fighting robots! Well, actually, I'm going to the whole sad yet insightful trip and existential dread and the crushing pressure of a boy endures the high expectations of a paternal father. Paternal father. But also, yeah, giant fucking robots. <laughs> they fuck. What? Joy, Joy, stop. I don't think you heard us properly. Giant. Fighting. Robots. Oh my goddess. Fine. I'll sing the damn song Wait, instead really? of you two to shut the fuck up. You're lucky I'm half Japanese and I can, act, uh, blah, 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 and can actually sing the lyrics. Where is this coming from? It's light as smoke. <laughs> Your friends perform a screamo cover of A Cruel Angel's Thesis. It's actually quite good. I want to hear a screamo cover of A Cruel Angel's I Thesis. I will find it for and you. I was like, you can probably find it. Yeah. You wonder if the Korean ghosts will appreciate an anime opening theme, but once the song ends, they're... Crying tears of joy? Huh. That was beautiful, the ghosts cry. You see, we are trapped forever in the purgatory as punishment for the horrible, treacherous acts we committed whilst we were alive. And we reappear in the haunted manor once a year for this party, but for the rest of the year, we're stuck in eternal torture. Watch being and rewatching Evangelion without ever truly understanding its meaning. <laughs> What the Ooh. fuck? Yeah, okay. It's too real, bro. It's too real. Too real. <laughs> it's a horrific curse. Okay. Okay. Oh, well then, sorry we, um, reminded you of your never-ending torment? <laughs> <laughs> no, no! While Evangelion itself may be an unending nightmare, its opening theme is still pretty catchy. Every cloud has a silver lining. When did this ghost get an accent? Somehow, it looks like your friends reminded the Victorian ghosts of the best part of their eternal torture, which puts them in a super good mood for the rest of the concert. Nice. You get blasted on ghost opium watching nice. it and your friends fucking kill it. What a night. You gain plus two boldness, plus one fun. Alright, Vicente. Let's see. Go somewhere where I don't have a character. I need to do something real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, except going somewhere doesn't fucking decide who's on the screen. Yeah, I was gonna Funny. say. Do it right, Sydney. Do it right. I'm not gonna, and you know that. Regardless, Dahlia's gonna appear because all four of us are fucking smart and pick Dahlia. Yep. You spend. <laughs> All day trying to learn how to use the North Star to know your location and never get lost. It's a fierce challenge and everyone gets, like, super lost. You say fuck it and try to text the North Star to ask for directions. Maybe no one ever asked? Of course this achieves nothing. It's a star. And you should stop trying to resort to sheer absurdity to solve your problems. I... You get no badge. No one does. It was all a trick test and no one's even Don't time. move when you're done with this. Um... He's listening to the lo-fi uh, beats uh, drink. His headphones are plugged into the drink. Oh, <laughs> you're cool. right. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Isn't that a nice little reference? <laughs> that is. That's awesome. You can get this drink. It'll change all the music in the game, Eric. Really? Mm-hmm. 
amazing. Yeah. Because we've gotten we it do... once, I believe. Who's we? Us. We've we had it once. I don't think we got it. Yeah, we did. Would do in two creativity for your ladder. Is it I don't on the think failed so. one? Is it on the failed one that we didn't post? Or one of the? No, it's not I on the second one. I don't remember the music changing. It was. It was once we got it. Not to call you a liar again. I'm gonna pull it up and post. I'm an gonna pull it up and post because fuck you, Gassy. <laughs> I've listened to our footage three times at least every time, and one of the times I'm the music just changed. Saying, you're wrong. You then challenged an arm wrestling match with Dahlia. You try so hard you pass out. Nice. <laughs> when you regain consciousness, you're in the middle of one of Coach's workshops on how to catch rare forest animals alongside her, Aravi, and Hex. Aww. Oh, well, Robbie's here. Hold on, sorry. We got two rolls. No, no. Three. Who's the... Ah, Hex, I get you. Okay. So, Eric's a Ravi. I am Coach, and you're Hex, Ron. All right, let's go. <laughs> Good, sleepyhead's awake. And just in time, we're on, on the eve of battle, the battle of catching a feral, ferocious fool, foe with nothing but our bare hands. God damn it. Alliteration. And my swords and daggers <laughs> and crossbows. And my enchanted me. <laughs> also my enchanted pepper spray. Nice. Don't worry, kids. All of your unique and occasionally comedic clashing strengths will be necessary in bringing down this hideous beast. By the way, if you don't ever have the voices on, Ron, this guy is played by Takahata. Really? Yes! I should really not mute this game and just be blasting tunes. <laughs> <laughs> T today, we'll be hunting the cryptid throw rare that he's only been captured in a few dozen photographs on Goggle Image. Is take a look. It's in a book. Okay, Gassy. Are you there? I look at this graph. <laughs> Ripted! It's oh Billy Wilder! God. I loved his work on the apartment, and some like it hot. This is somehow totally fitting and not fitting at all, all at the same time. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. This voice twice. <laughs> yes. I'm not dying it this time. I've no, I'm not yet. You better not go super slow with it like last time. Oh no, that's breathing in. If I did that, I'd be done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hex, but not quite. You see, this creature was famed Golden Age Hollywood director Billy Wilder, but over time he grew disenchanted with Hollywood life. Now he lives in these very woods, transformed into the feral and terrifying Billy Wildest. The oh, fuck? The find? Does he directly? Cr <sighs> fuck. But does he still direct critically acclaimed comedies? Not really. Mostly he just eats people and occasionally ghostwrites. Perhaps you heard of a film called Transformers The Last Night? <laughs> oh my god, yes I have. He must be stopped. <laughs> Don't worry, coach. Don't worry, coach. We'll behead the beast. <laughs> What's the plan to capture him? <laughs> oh my god, I don't, I don't know if you guys ever watched- Oh, I don't even know the name of the show. Fuck. Um... What is the name of the show? Fuck, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up later. Oh yes, the plan. The plan for Billy Wildest. The plan- Oh, shut the fuck. Oh my god. The plan devised specifically to kill, capture and kill Billy Wildest. The Billy bi Williest plan. Okay, Kusko. <laughs> You've got nothing! <laughs> well, I was so wrapped up on giving you kids this information, I forgot to plan plot anything. But hey, the four of you coming up with a plan will be a great team-building exercise. Hmm. Just like a gym teacher to make the students run mental laps while they sit back and watch. Well, somebody needs to hatch a plan to catch Bill, Billy Wildest. What you got? 
snare him in a predatory movie contract or create a, an award ceremony for best director currently living as a wild man in the woods. Uh, I'm gonna go with the second one because the top one feels like smart. Oof. You sure? That sounds like a lot of work. Like we'll have to make a whole fake award ceremony and get people to attend it and... That sounds perfect. Lately, all of my campaigns have been way too battle heavy. It'll be nice to roleplay for a while. It's not. It's really not. It is so much. Jay? Jay. Sorry, I got invaded. Uh, home Movies, by the way. The coach from Home Movies. That's that's who uh, uh, Eric Saravi reminds me of. Oh. Uh. Literally just copped Literally out and copied Dalios. <laughs> yeah, and I'll finally get to earn my present, pre my present an award to deceased director badge. Just everyone said it was impossible, but I'll show them. You get to work transforming camp into a prestigious award venue. Aravi and Dahlia get really into picking up the decorations, finding fancy outfits, etc. On the night of the event, you invite all the notable feral Hollywood directors to the ceremony. Oh, hell yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The first feral Hollywood director awards. I am your host, Hex, with my assistant Aravi here. <laughs> God damn it, why did that get me? I'm, uh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Reset. Well, you went through I, all your ranges there, bud. I, you, I can't fucking do it anymore. <laughs> A huge fan of all of you. So the first event will be having all of the directors. I <laughs> Bro, you, you, you really need to stop smoking. Uh, uh, I knew I should never have invited you to this. Can we just skip to the nominees? First, we have Skippy the Squirrel, best known for his endearingly homoerotic rom com. Nuts for your nuts. I'd watch it. <laughs> it's Alfred B. Doc for his terrifying work in the forest horror film of the year, The Human. We also have we also Billy, Billy Wildest, Wildest, whose latest claim to fame is eating your children in their beds at night. Last but not least, Michael Bay. Michael Bay. <laughs> Wait, he's not dead, is he? Not yet. You hear a single woo from the crowd, followed by a small explosion. Nice. Yeah, yeah baby. I yeah, baby. It. And the winner is Billy Wildest. Billy, please come to the stage and accept your award. Billy Wildest mounts the stage and Miss Uproarous applause. The award is a golden net. Dahlia throws it over him. Oh, he cries forlornly. I've been trapped, just as I was trapped by the net of Hollywood's superficial commercial desires, and also almost by Nazi Germany. Wait, that was a thing? What? You all carry Billy away before he starts getting too real. There's no place for true <laughs> emotional death at an award ceremony. <laughs> the whole thing ends with a bitchin' after party where you all watch Steven Spielberg and Alfred Peacock do a keg stand. You gain two fun and one boldness. Nice. <laughs>